Page. Inside. Boy, is he sweet. So silky smooth. Win or lose, Monday night is Marcus Page's final game playing for North Carolina. He's been the team leader since day one. Not that it was easy on day one, surrounded by veterans. I was like a little bit intimidated to, to try to voice and be the voice of the team. Um, but as they kind of accepted me as their point guard, it got a lot easier. And then by the end of the year, I was really confident and we, we started playing pretty good basketball. And, uh, you know, I felt like I could say things and, and not get any backlash or anything. When he came to us, I handed him the ball because Ken Doyle had left to go to the NBA with 13th pick with Phoenix. And I said, you're going to run this thing and I think you're going to be great. And we'll live with the, uh, the minuses. Just keep trying your best every day and you'll get better. I thought he was really, as a freshman, he tried to defer somewhat to some of the seniors, but the ball's in his hands during play, so he is the leader. And I think he did a marvelous job then, and basically since the first day he stepped on the court, he's been a leader and as good a leader as I've ever had. I'll never forget the ACC title game that year. Carolina lost to Miami, but both teams played at an incredibly high level, and you could make the case that Page was the best player on the court. The next year as a sophomore, he dominated. The game that stands out to me is one-on-one -on -one battle with NC State's TJ Warren. Tony Buckets outscored Marcus 36-35, but Page had the ball in his hands in the final seconds. Three seconds, Page, yes! From my sophomore year on, I felt like I had at least earned enough respect in the locker room to be able to say some things to some guys, uh, get on some people uh, 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 <laughs> like uh, coach, and, <laughs> and hopefully try to light a little fire under them. But, but everybody's been receptive of it, and that's the biggest thing. So uh, I just try to try to be an extension of coach out there. Getting an opportunity to play and have a key role as a freshman, that it only grew. You know, Marcus became the extension of Coach Williams on the floor with our team, knowing what to do, and you just you know. Marcus has a lot more um, rope than some of the other guys in terms of uh, uh, because of his knowledge. You know, I think he's always a natural leader. I mean, usually point guards are, um, and so it wasn't anything that we had to force on him. Um, he sort of did on his own. Marcus has been hit by injuries and this year a shooting slump. Even with the ups and downs, Roy Williams never stopped trusting Page. This year when he lost his confidence kind of thing, uh, I'm not so sure he ever lost his confidence. I think he got pretty mad. And I'd say, are you all right? And he'd say, yeah. And I'd say, you want me to leave you alone? And he'd say, yeah. So that was really intelligent coaching on my part. I didn't help him out of anything at all. He just took care of it. It's been a great run. It really has. And, and to think about how my career kind of progressed, uh, you know, not getting out of the first weekend and then getting a little bit of taste of tournament success. And then now, as a senior, you know, despite not playing my best basketball, having a chance to be on a team that makes it all the way to the final four, it's been pretty sweet. And one more win would be the sweetest of all. In Houston, I'm Jeff Fischel. This is the ACC Digital Network.